Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 New York Mets. All right, ready to get underway. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. Next offering upstairs. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Out to short. Lindor handles. Sends it across to first. That takes care of Grisham. Here's Manny Machado. The third base Why the kick the pitch? And yeah, that's outside. Next offering is down low. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Here comes a pitch. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. The pitch. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Left-hand batter waits. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Luke Voigt at the plate. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. At the belt and fires. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. Bottom of the first. Leading off, Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And yeah, the righty he deals. Swang and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Starling Marte up to hit. And a 1-1. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Myers makes the play, and there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. The 1-2 stays alive. The one two and there's a ball Nimmo stands at first with one out and down on strikes he goes two down here's Pete Alonso the first baseman Pete and a pitch smoked on the ground a second on to Kim what a play, inning over. Back here in Queens, second inning set to go. And now it's Eric Hosmer. And a pitch. That's, 
that's down and in. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning threw a lot of pitches. Down the left field line, base hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Next one is off the plate. Ball two. DeGrom, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. The 2-2 now. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Padres waste a chance. And now it's Austin Nola. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. Two two. Full count. Three two. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three and two now. Nola tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is fouled back. That one hammered center field. That's on its way. Gone! He made him pay for that one. The Padres score first. It's 2-0. Now at the plate, ha -Sung Kim. The pitch. Foul ball, he stays alive. Ball. The next pitch misses, and the count is two and two. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Here at City Field, bottom of the second. Here's the veteran outfielder, Mark Canna. Right hander kicks, deals. Out to short. Kim with the throw to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. Next offering is in for a strike. The count is one and two. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. Dom Smith stands in. Next pitch is popped up. Cronenworth has a beat on it. He makes the grab, and that's the third out. Out of the third inning, here's a speed threat, Trent Grisham. And he walked him. 
Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So digging in now for San Diego, Manny Machado. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Late that time, and it's strike two. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Manny Machado leaves the yard, and they add on. It's 4-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Oh. Next one misses, and a count two and one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The next offering misses, and the count is three and one. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Can't glove it cleanly. That leaves him without a throw, and he's on it first. Next up is the cleanup spot for the Padres. Luke Voigt, 0 for 1 so far. And the pitch. And now 2 and 1 after that missed inside. And he deals. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Man at first. Here's Hosmer. Next offering is in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Cronenworth over at first with one away. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Will Myers now. And the 3-1. Foul ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And the right hitter deals. Fought off foul. Myers stays alive. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Welcome back, set for the bottom of the third, and now here's Jeff McNeil. Left-hand hitter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. Back to work, three, two now. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And there's one away. Here is James McCann. The catcher, James McCann. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. Here's a 1-1. And now 1-2. and two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and two. Ball. 
two down, nobody on. And that misses off the outside edge. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. In the air, left field, Profar settles underneath it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And the inning is over. here at the ballpark and here's the catcher Austin Nola the 2-1 and that one fouled off well he hasn't quite settled in out there four runs in three innings he's gonna have to have some quick one two three and innings to pitch deep into this ball game and the righty deals and there's ball four well, he opted to go with the off-speed stuff on that 3-2 with the bases empty. Close pitch, but now he's got to work out of the stretch. Stepping in for San Diego, jerks in pro far. The pitch. In the air, right field. Marte under it. And there's one down. Man at first, Hassan Kim. Getting ready to hit. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Nola leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. And welcome back. Bottom four. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Next pitch misses inside, and it's 2-1. and one. Righty to the plate. That's a ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. The pitch. And ball four to a board. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And now it's going to be Mark Canna. Grounded out his first time up. So a foul ball makes it one and two.
Swift, base hit. Lindor around third. He'll score. It's 4-1. Runner holds it third, so just one across on the play. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Now here is Eduardo Escobar. Got him. And that's the first out. Now, now it's Dominic Smith. He popped out his first Dominic. time. Next offering is foul back. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Reaching for it and brings it in. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. One and two now. Got him looking. That's the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now, Manny Machado. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left side. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Got a change up and a pretty good one, too. Outside corner, but he just got extended and put the barrel on it. Showed he has a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. And now here is Jake Cronenworth. Over to McNeil. Over to Alonzo. Double play. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it would be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two outs, base is empty. Luke Voigt will step to the plate. Hard hit down the line and left. And it goes just foul. Here's a one, two. And Voigt spoiling that one. The one, two. And that one handled, gathers, and throws to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here in Queens, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, James McCann. One one to McCann. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now one away. Back to the top of the Mets order, and stepping in is the speedy Brandon Nimmo. Here's a one-two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away now. Here's Starling Marte. Number six. Starling Marte. On the ground, right side. Inning over. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Seth Lugo. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at City Field. Now it's Eric Hosmer. Here's a 1-1. That clips the corner. The one two. And a ball evens the count. Right handed reliever. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. McNeil under it. And there's one away. And now the right fielder, Will Myers, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Foul. Myers stays alive. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Next pitch is popped up. Alonso makes the grab. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Throw to first, in time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. Bottom of the sixth inning, now up to hit. Francisco Lindor. Left-hand batter waits. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. That one drilled left field into the dive, and he got it. Now back, left field, Mark Canna. Here's Mark Canna. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And that is that. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Drew Smith. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Welcome back. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jerickson Profar. Next pitch, way upstairs. On the ground. Gets it to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Ha Sung Kim, the next to hit. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Check swing, but he went too far. Yeah, the count one and two.
swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Trent Grisham. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. And a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. That takes care of Grisham. And that ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. The 1-1. One -one. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Next to hit, Dominic Smith. And a count one and two. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Tim Hill. And he'll work on holding this lead. Jeff McNeil stands in. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And that one is lifted in the air. Two away. James McCann in now. The catcher, number 33. James. Two outs. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. At the belt and fires. That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. Welcome back. And now, Manny Machado. Two two now. And Machado able to spoil that pitch. Next one misses, and the count is filled up. On the ground right side. He steps on the bag. First out in the top of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Here's a 2-2. The other way. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. And it'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Cronenworth, the runner at second with one away. Ground ball up the middle. McNeil picks it up, fires over to first. And that is out number two. Eric Hosmer, the next up for the Padres. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch in and over. Yeah. 
bottom of the inning. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And a base hit up the middle. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase in the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At the plate, Starling Marte. Well, that'll bring the tying run to the plate, so all eyes on the man coming to the dish right now. Nobody out. Lindor is a chance to tie it. The switch hitter batting right. And there's a base hitter to left. Nimmo rounds third, headed for the plate. Relay throw. Safe. And now just a two-run deficit. Big RBI for him right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Emilio Pagan. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. This guy with light tower power. Close, but call the ball. And now three and one. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around not distracting your teammate the hitter make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release play walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly they're in some hot water trying to protect this lead rips one to right down the line and it's foul these home fans they are making a lot of noise putting pressure on that pitcher out there Next offering upstairs. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Now the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high-leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Stays alive. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And here it comes. Got him looking. Two away. Dominic Smith up now for the Mets. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah. I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. And the pitch. Ball four, he's walked in a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. Good contact guy, good defender. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Two outs. Bases are full. Next pitch just misses. Three and two now. Base hit. One run is in. Now two runs score. And it's now 5-4. Comes through to drive in a pair and give him the lead. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. 
Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Austin Adams. It's his job to keep his team in the game. James McCann up now for the Mets. The 2 1. And that's outside. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Adams, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. And they're all loaded up. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. And if they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Now, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Oh, man, that's a tough one to swallow. Had the distance, just couldn't keep it fair. Imagine how great that feels, running around the bases when you've just hit a granny. He's got to dig back in, figure out a way. Maybe he can do it again. Next offering is foul back. One and two here. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A shot to left, and they add to the lead. It's 9-4. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base, and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. And here is Starling Marte. The why to kick the pitch. Next offering is outside. The 3-1. Fouled off. He was late. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He powers one out to right field, and they boost their lead. It's 10-4. So Craig Stammen into the game. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. So two away with nobody on. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And a payoff pitch. Bounced out to short. That one ends the onslaught and the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Miguel Castro. And a healthy size lead for him to go to work with. Back here at City Field. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the right fielder, Will Myers. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Alonso puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. Austin Nola now at the plate. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. Two-two now. Back up the middle and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Runner on at first with one gone. Next for the Padres, Jerickson Profar. That one pulled foul. The pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Base knock center field. The throw is wild and it gets away. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Been a pretty rough game at the plate for him so far. A bunch of strikeouts, so that felt good, I'm sure. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And he deals. That one in the dirt, and the count is even, two and two. Down to their final strike. And now it's filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So now one and two. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Just one strike away. Swing and a ball popped up. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets take this one in a blowout. Yeah, pretty tight ball game up until the eighth inning, and that's really the time where you expect things to lock down. But the offense broke out. Incredible outburst, and just put this game out of reach. 10-4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Three out.